Hi, my name is Sam Hendrick and I'm from Bentley Systems and welcome. In this series of videos, we're going to be doing a real basic introduction to MicroStation Connect Edition. We're going to start off with things like, how do I start the software? There's a couple of ways to do that and we'll discuss it. We'll also talk about how to create a file. What is a seed file? We'll also discuss things like, hey, do I need to save my work just like every other software? Well, actually you don't and we'll talk about that in the video. And in this series of videos, we're gonna have what's called a plus one or a bonus item. In each video, I'm gonna discuss an intermediate, possibly even an advanced topic about MicroStation. And at the end, we're gonna talk about how do we close our file? Is there a difference between exit and close? You're gonna find out if you get to the end. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's jump into the video. Okay, we're gonna get started now. The first thing we need to do is see how we can start the program. So there's a couple of ways to do this. One is from an icon on your desktop, and your organization may provide you with that. Or you can navigate using your Windows File Explorer, find the folder, project folder, find the DGN, MicroStation file, and you can just double click on it, just like any other program. I'm going to use the icon, going to double click on that. This is going to open MicroStation Connect Edition. I'm using Update 12. This is going to take me to the work page. On the work page, you have several options. One, from the recent files, I can open by just clicking a recent file that I've opened up. Second, I can go to browse and I can navigate to a folder that has a file that I haven't opened up. It's not on the recent list. Or I can use the new file. I'm going to click on new file to demonstrate how we create a new file in MicroStation. And when I click on this, the new file dialog opens up. There's three things you have to determine. First, which folder you're going to put it in. Every file has to have a folder. Second, what's the name of the file? And finally, the most important thing is the seed file you're going to use to create the file. Now, all programs use some kind of template. We call it a seed file. Down here at the bottom, you can see I have a seed file. It's called 2D Imperial Design. If I click the Browse button, this will take me to where MicroStation looks for other seed files that I can use. Again, your organization should instruct you on which seed file to use for which client or which project or which discipline. In this case, I'm going to hit cancel. And if I was going to create a new file, I would just type in a name and I would click save. But I'm going to hit cancel instead. The file that I'm going to be opening up is one that I've already opened up before. I'm going to click on MicroStation Basic. And this will open up my file. It's going to take me to the last place that it, somebody was at when they exited the file and saved settings. We'll talk about that in a minute. I'm going to zoom out by scrolling my wheel and I'm going to zoom back into this area, pan over. Now in the upper left hand corner, we have our workflow. Right now I have it set to drawing. There are two other options. We'll talk about that in a different video. Once I choose my workflow, the tabs below will be reflecting that workflow. In this case, I have it set to home and I have a number of options across the top. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna draw a line. So I'm gonna move my cursor up here to place smart line. It's under the placement group. I'm gonna left click on it. My tool settings window over to the right shows me the name of the tool that I'm in and the settings for that tool. Now I can start drawing my line. In this case, I'm going to start a line and I'm gonna start right here in the middle of this vertical line. Now you're gonna see a yellow X. This is AccuSnap. We'll talk about that in a later video too. If that's where I wanna start my line, I accept that by doing a left click. We call that data. We'll talk about that later. I do a left click. I've started my line. Now it's looking for me to define the length and the direction. So I'm gonna move my cursor to the right and let's say I wanted to make my line one foot, three inches. Well, AccuDraw, which is that square with the red and the green tick mark is active. And the AccuDraw window is docked at the bottom of my application. It's waiting for me, highlighting the field that I'm indicating by moving my cursor to type in the distance. In this case, I'm gonna type in one foot, three inches. I type in one on my keyboard that automatically replaces what's in that field. And then it's looking for me to put in the next value. I separate feet and inches by a semicolon or colon. Either one will work. I look up my screen and I see that the length of my line is determined as I move my cursor up and down. You'll see I'm constrained at that distance. With my cursor on this axis, this is indexing. I'm gonna accept that as the length of my line by doing again a left click, we call that data. 
Now I'm done drawing line segments, so I'm going to press the right button, which is reset, which ends the play smart line, but puts me back to the beginning of the command. So I'm going to hit reset, and that takes me back to the beginning. Now the work you do in MicroStation is automatically saved. MicroStation is what is referred to as a file-based system, not RAM. Word, Excel, AutoCAD, they're all RAM-based systems. That means that your work isn't written to the file until you save your work by either doing a Control S or going to File Save. MicroStation, out of the box, all your work is automatically saved. If I draw, copy, move, manipulate, all that gets written to the file automatically. I don't have to worry about it being written. Now, what isn't automatically saved is your settings. Now, when I opened this file up initially, it took me to a specific spot. The last person in this file was zoomed in on that area, and then they saved settings before they exited. Now, save settings encompasses a lot of things that fall under the umbrella of what we call design file settings. Some of the other things that are important up on my attributes group, you'll see there's level, color, style, weight, and other items. These are all my active settings. My active level is titles. My active color is zero. How did they get there? Whoever was in the file before me set them to that, and then they saved settings. So if I exit this file without saving settings, when I reopen it, my work will be there, but the area that I look at will be back to the other spot. So I'm gonna save my settings to demonstrate this. I can do this by up on the quick access toolbar, you'll see save settings and you'll see in parentheses a keyboard shortcut, Control F, if that's what you want to do. Since my cursor is here, I'm gonna click on the icon. If I look at my status bar in the bottom left, it tells me settings saved, that confirms it. Now, if I exit my file, I can come back and I'll be looking at this area. To demonstrate that, I'm gonna do close. I do that by doing file and then close. Takes me back to my work page. And then I'm going to reopen the file by left clicking on it. And you can see it took me right back to that spot and the work, the line that I drew is right there. Now we can make MicroStation save settings automatically on exit, and we do that by going to our preferences. To get there, I would go to my file, which takes me to my backstage. I come down to settings, and then under user, you'll see I have preferences here. I'm gonna click on preferences. This opens up my preferences dialog. Under operation, categories on the left, I select that. You'll see I have options to the right. One of the options, the second one is save settings on exit. If I check that, then MicroStation will save my settings on exit. Right below that is auto save design changes. That's checked. That means MicroStation saves your work automatically. You don't have to do a control S or a file save. If I uncheck that and restart the program, then when I exit a file or open another file, MicroStation will prompt me, do I want to save my work? Yes or no. That will function like other software, and that could be a comfort factor for some people. So in this case, I'm just gonna hit cancel. I'm gonna exit the file. So I'm gonna to go to exit, and this closes the program. And this completes our first video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.